Yo, what it do guys and welcome back to another video. Yureli is Warframe's latest release and with that, she hasn't received the best of reviews. Overall, her kit is quite lackluster in terms of performance and doesn't pack a punch in either survivability nor damage dealing. Just yesterday, DE tried to amend this by buffing her kit in several locations, her passive, her first ability Sea Snares, her third ability Aquablades and even her fourth ability Riptide. With this being said, she's still underperforming across the ability boards. However, the increase to her passive from 100% critical chance whilst moving to 200%, now this was quite an unexpected buff. In reality, I felt like that they didn't need to do this. So with a few discussions, we decided to have a look into her builds and the results were quite insane. Using the Spore Laser as an example with Equinox Subsume and her passive, I was able to one-shot level 180s like it was no challenge. What's the kicker here is that although I'm using the new Galvanize mods and the new Merciless Arcane, they're not really active before the initial shot. So this basically means it's her one-shotting the 180s before any of the other scaling starts to kick in. So we don't actually see its true potential right now. For Urelli's builds, I went with Strength, Duration and some Survivability. I decided to subsume of her fourth ability, Riptides. Now this was because it locks you in an animation whilst casting and has high drain. It didn't really help blasting enemies around in the area either. So this is where we bring in Eclipse to subsume, to buff our secondary weapons and to synergize that with our passive. From there, I wanted to reuse the Spore Laser. Since released, this weapon was always quite powerful. It's like an old infested catch moon kind of style. It's got great AoE and puts out good numbers. Using Spore Laser Chamber, Haymaker Grip for the most damage output with a splat loader for highest critical potential and magazine, I was able to pop in those new mods and arcanes and really see some great raw damage output. Even if you're not using Yureli, it's still a strong weapon to use right now. Now as for her playstyle, remember to cast your Eclipse whilst not mounted on Merilina. Unfortunately, you cannot cast subsumed abilities whilst riding your summoned companion. Then, jump onto Merilina to protect yourself and head into more open areas shooting anything that moves. If there is lots of melee units heading your way, turning on Aqua Blades, her third ability, isn't a bad idea as it has good duration and stagger slash procs close enemies nearby increasing your survival chances. I keep Sea Snares optional, but I don't really use them that much. It's just a good, cheap ability to cast if you need to move some enemies aside with crowd control. Pairing this with the likes of Adaza Kavat and buffing her critical even further with the cat side mods, she is really outperforming and putting out some big numbers across the boards. I find her having issue with survivability, however, and you will need to try to utilize her second ability, Meridlina, even if you don't enjoy K drives. This will go and help you benefit some damage reduction to aid that survival aspect. Otherwise, bringing in arcanes like Aegis are surely to help you as well. Just don't make yourself such a stand-in target and try to keep moving in open areas. This build holds some great meme potential, some great damage potential, but it's still not at all that practical, especially not that much as a solo player. However, inside a group format with some other Warframes to protect you, like Oberon's Renewal or even Gara's Splinters, you'll definitely become more of a wrecking machine. You really need some addressing and more synergy within her kit, but as of right now, this is probably the best build I could bring up front for her to at least make me want to play her. She's a cool concept, and I hope DE continue to bring up hotfixes and amendments over time. Now, by all means, I'm not saying that this build is perfect or it doesn't have any flaws. It definitely does. But what other suggestions could we look into to making her a bit more of a reliable Warframe? Her passive is definitely a great touch, and I'm going to continue testing to see what other methods become viable with her. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. How have you guys been finding the latest Warframe? I'll try to keep this video short and sweet as I could, so big thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button, and if you're new here, why not subscribe and join us more often? But as always guys, I'll be seeing you again in the next video.